life is spiritual in the sense that whatever happens to a man physically is first settled in the realms of the spirit whether good or bad take it or leave it believe it or not this is reality a typical example of this is in first samuel 28 verse 19 first samuel 28 verse 19 it says the lord will hand over both israel and you to the philistines and tomorrow you and your sons will be with me the lord will also hand over the army of israel to the philistines it was settled in the realm of the spirit before it manifested physically this was the account of king saul and prophet samuel king saul went to a medium to inquire about his battle from prophet samuel who was dead prophet samuel told him that the battle will not be won by king saul and that he and his sons will join him the next day in the spiritual realm we have two types of spirits the good spirit which is also known as the holy spirit and then the evil spirit which is the devil they all have their spheres of influence on man depending on which divides the person belongs and a concern with the spiritual over the physical is a mark of true christian spirituality when we have this understanding we'll be able to align ourselves in the positive light life in itself is a battlefield you either win or you lose it is expected of us however as children of the most high to always win in all our battles manipulation is a demonic spirit with an attempt to sway someone's emotion to get them to act or feel in a specific way it usually acts in a skillful manner very clever or in an unscrupulous way its victims are made to feel irrational and more to give in to their request it totally controls the acquaintance perceptions of and reactions to things it is an act of tactically influencing a person's mind into thinking or doing what they would not have otherwise thought or done this is a demonic and afflicting spirit because of the characters it exhibits one must be delivered from all its ploys many are under these influences without knowing it i once heard of a woman who has been manipulated whenever someone plans to favor or do her good without her knowledge she practically starts misbehaving to that person who has the intent of helping her but once the person changes his or her mind she stops and becomes normal again an evil spirit was operating in her with the influence of this favor there is also another story of a man who was manipulated into using his elementary school certificate to work for decades meanwhile he had a phd in his field not until the lord had mercy on him and his eyes were enlightened and he was delivered if you are in such a state may the lord send deliverance your way from such manipulating spirits in jesus matchless name amen in judges 16 16 to 18 judges 16 16 to 18 it says and it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death that he told her all his heart saying no razor has touched my head for i have been a nazareth unto god from my mother's womb if i be shaven then my strength will go from me and i shall become weak and be like any other man when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she called for the lords of the Philistines. They came and brought her money. A lot of us are very conversant with this story of Samson and Delilah. It was an evil spirit in action through Delilah manipulating Samson to divulge a source of strength and power, which he did and finally died. How then can one win this battle against manipulating spirits? Be intentional about your stand. In Matthew 24 verse 4, Matthew 24 verse 4 says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. He was literally saying, Be intentional. Don't succumb. Don't be manipulated by anything, be it physical, spiritual, emotional, or otherwise. 
Be like the Berean Christians. In the book of Acts 17, 11, Acts 17, 11, it says, These were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. From this account, we can deduce that they hadn't met Christ yet, but they have already established the all-important habit of reading and studying the scriptures daily. They had the standard for authority and truth because they took their stand. They were not nehi or gullible. The next is desire to know the truth. You shall know the truth and it shall set you free. The truth is the word of God. In John 17, 17, John 17, 17, it says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. You cannot be led astray when you know the truth. The next is don't compromise. Be it in your faith, nor believe in God. Something in our story compromises faith. He did what he was not supposed to do, and he paid dearly. Jesus' 